Today we're going to talk about some very exciting AI features that the Elegant Themes team has added to the Divi Builder. What's really cool is that at this time with their monthly rate, you can get unlimited usage of the text generation AI, image generation AI, and even modifying things like code just with a prompt given to their AI. Some really cool stuff. They outline it here in their Divi AI webpage here. You can see it's elegantthemes.com slash AI, and they cover all the cool things that they are cramming into this feature set. They also give a trial to all existing Divi users of about, I think it's up to 100 uh, usages of the AI, so anyone can give it a spin, and that's what we are going to do today. As you can see, I've been playing around with it for a bit, and so I will walk you through what I've been doing and show you how I got this and uh, just some cool uh, examples of how to use it. So if we go to Edit Visual Builder, and we'll see right here we had this um, Welcome to Websites Made Simple, um, your one-stop shop for creating websites, make us say WooCommercely awesome. So some context there. I All I had to do was create a simple text box and then hit generate content with AI. And right away, it grabs the content context of the site, your website's name, its tagline, description, uh, and where it is in the page. And it will make a, an educated guess as to what you might be trying to talk about. And so this sort of uh, fed in everything from the page and went ahead and made a sort of summary all-in-one uh, paragraph blob. It also grabs some of my, uh, my code down there too, so we would edit that out, of course. Um, and then we can take that and we can retry. We can refine the results by giving it um, some notes like you can with ChatGPT. We can also go to improve with AI and we can shorten it, lengthen it, rephrase it, translate it, rewrite it for beginners or experts, change the tone to be more authoritative or happy or casual, uh, make it more engaging or um, descriptive or actionable. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, what I think would be the most useful for a lot of people is taking some existing text, um, like saying, um, bikes are a great way to get around the city. I have that issue where if someone's watching me type, I type much worse than usual. And then if we hit this uh, AI enhancer button here, we can go to lengthen. And now it will say, bikes is efficient and eco-friendly modes of transportation truly encompass the essence of simplicity when it comes to navigating through uh, bustling cities. And then, as you'll see, it'll circle it around to your brand so your marketing is consistent. So now it switches to, with websites made simple, we recognize the undeniable benefits they bring in terms of convenience, time-saving, over-well-being, daily commuter bikes, seamless solution, traversing refreshing alternative. So they work in your brand uh, and the name of your business really well. So it's uh, it's very um, funny to watch if you give it something really way out in left field. It'll still uh, bring it full circle to, uh, to the name of your business, which is very fun. So we'll go ahead and hit use this text and we'll check that. And you can see I was playing around with this. You can give it a note like, you know, work in the word WooCommerce uh, was one here. And then I changed it to a funny tone. And so then they have these, you know, WooCommerce awesome, faster than you can say cha-ching, you know, like lots of fun stuff there. Uh, this one was uh, a story of Billy biking to school and then uh, that extended it to websites made simple and um, the complexities of website creation. So it uh, does a really impressive job there. Moving on to AI generation, you can see, or rather AI image generation, you can see that I've generated this uh, image of Batman on the computer here, and it's pretty easy to do. You just go to the image module, over the placeholder, hit the AI button, generate with AI, choose the style you want. I'm going to go with photo, give it a description. I'm going to say Batman on a bike in front of a candy store. You can upload a reference image, choose the aspect ratio, choose the width and height you want, and then we'll go ahead and hit generate. And it goes surprisingly fast. Uh, here we are. We've got a few different options. We got sort of different eras of Batman. We've got sort of a Adam West style one here. We've got sort of a, a bat fleck. This one's uh, more in the shadows. This one looks kind of old. Um, I am liking the look of this one. This one is just fun. You can, as you can see, give it a note. You can uh, change the style of it. Lots of customization options. So I'm going to go ahead and hit use this image. Now we've got our 
side by side uh, various versions of, of Batman, which is very cool. And it's a very powerful feature. These are uniquely created images. So you can use these as um, fun asides to your blog article or your announcement piece or social media graphics, whatever you use these for. Obviously, uh, it doesn't have to be just for your Divi site. You can, once it's generated, pop into it in the media library and then just download um, the image itself, grab its URL, copy to the clipboard, uh, Divi is just sort of the, the platform for utilizing um, their access to these Divi tools, which is very cool. You can also see that it has AI upscaling, which is very cool. I had this low resolution photo of this dog, and then I went onto the existing image and chose the AI button here. And then improve with AI is another option, which uh, I jumped down to upscale 2x. You can also uh, change the style of it to a drawing or an abstract or a cartoon. And about a minute later, it uh, popped out this much sharper image where it uh, got rid of the noise around the dog. It uh, correctly guessed kind of where some of the fur and the um, the hay was here and really sharpened it up, especially like, you know, this here in the foreground uh, while still keeping some things blurred that were, you know, with the bokeh effect close behind the lens. So very impressive. This is a much more usable photo uh, taken from a very grainy, unusable photo like this might actually be worthy of of the gram now, which is, uh, which is quite impressive. The last thing we'll take a look at is, uh, AI generated code. So I will come back to this example in a second, but, uh, it's a very cool, uh, and very, uh, powerful feature. It's, it's quite impressive how fast it works where you might have, um, a div here with ID equal to parent and then a div with ID equal to child and then inner content right here. And then if you hit the AI button, you can improve the code with AI. You can also uh, do some other helpful um, tweaks or optimizations, which is very handy, reformat it. I'll probably be using that a lot. But if we improve it here, we can say, uh, make it so the child div is horizontally centered inside the parent div. Regenerate. And in like a second, you can see that it instantly is centered there because it applied the style tag, which gave it the ID of parent, now has display flex and justify content center. And it also grabbed, um, it appears to have also applied this with a script tag so we can choose which one we wanna use. I'm just gonna use the um, CSS style version, but it's nice they gave me the JavaScript alternative. I'll hit use this code and now that is centered. This also happened to have that same um, uh, div structure layout. So it is also centered. So it gave me a very versatile and useful piece of code for my page. This page over here, or rather this section with the blinking cursor was actually completely generated by the Divi AI. I gave it a prompt saying I wanted a blinking uh, cursor typewriter effect um, H1 heading and it spat this out. It gave me the H1 heading with this typewriter effect. It wrote a script uh, that cycles this blinking cursor effect, um, and then, or rather, um, gave me a typewriting effect, and then uh, some CSS styles to accommodate the blinking carrot, and uh, just gave this very cool uh, coder um, author sort of look to it. And if we save this page and refresh, uh, then we can see uh, all these pages in effect and the typewriting effect and uh, just all very extendable, very powerful feature set. Uh, and it'd be exciting to see what people use this for. And they've got even more cooking. If you look on the elegantthemes.com AI page on the roadmap, they also intend to bring in a full layout generation, AI website creation, uh, and a prompt library where you can store things. So uh, I recommend taking a look at this. Uh, and if you want to uh, take a look at their uh, Divi AI plans. Uh, this is definitely something that I'll be considering as uh, more and more use cases crop up for cool technology like this. And if you have any questions or comments on this particular topic or other uh, website tools such as WooCommerce, Shopify, Squarespace, Elementor, you name it, we are interested in talking about it. So feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, subscribe to the Websites Made Simple channel so we can bring you more tips like these and hope you have a great day.